Hey guys, Mike here with Rapid Quants. It's Thursday, May 11th, and I just came back after a trip yesterday. We introduced Gravitas on Tuesday, and the response has just been absolutely stunning. And of course, our support guys are getting a million questions, so I thought I'd address some of those. The biggest one, of course, is, well, when should I get into the market? Should I just slowly scale in? Should I back up the truck right here? Is this a good spot to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum? Because if you're looking at the signal we're long right here, that's the updates you're getting. You can go to chatwebacons.com or you can just download NetherChat, which is the client we use. Then you also get the push alerts. Again, you can mute them if you want to, if you don't want to get the alerts every day. I mean, you're still going to get the alerts. You just don't, you're not going to get the push alert. You know, when you turn the phone on, you're not going to be bothered. So you can really shape the experience the way you want it to be per your needs. My take is usually I just take a look at it once a day and, and then say, okay, that's good. Well, also I look at the indicator, so <laughs> that helps me a lot. But for you guys, you're getting the next best thing, which is, of course, detailed reports on where we are. This is Ethereum. This is Gravitas on Bitcoin. And you can tell we've dropped a little bit, well, a tiny bit since yesterday. So we've scaled back because a few weeks ago, we were like close to... I think 40 something percent here, 44. So, you know, nature of the beast, and I'll show you why. So what you're seeing here is actually the two Kalman's running. These are not EMAs or SMAs or anything like that. If you've ever really followed price action, if you know anything about market indicators, and many of you have because you're not spring chicken. <laughs> Most of you have been traders for quite a long time and have followed me for a while. So I've talked about these things, but you can probably tell that right, these are not EMS because just how they behave in the context of fast price action. So when realized volatility, right, basically fast moves in the price action here, if you see these big moves, you can tell that it responds very, very differently than like an EMA would because an EMA would chop you to pieces here. And you're always going to get whipsaw. I mean, that's just nature of the beast. If you're looking at the bottom, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And you can see here at the bottom, it made money for a long time, wrote this whole thing down. And then finally sold here again, was briefly long actually, just for a few days and then sold again and wrote it all the way to here, made just a tiny bit of money, not very much, just a tiny bit. We, we sold here and then bought back here. So we've got two small losses. And then since then we've been long. But I mean, see all the winners. <laughs> it's been really printing money throughout all this. See that long here, here pretty much break even, short here. And yeah, you could make a case of why, why won't you make it a little bit more responsive? I could, I could make it more responsive, but we would have to get, jump into the market, in and out of the market all the time. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted the market trend indicator originally. And that's how the signal really crystallized, right? I mean, how else do you write this? Now, could you optimize on this? Yeah, of course you could, right? You could here and maybe try to get in and out here and squeeze maybe a few more hours out of it. But I, let me ask you guys, honestly, how many of you would be able to trade through this and really trade it all the way through? But that's, that's kind of the whole idea about Gravitas. I think it kind of relieves you from this whole question of what market phase are we in? Are we in a bear phase? Are we in a bullish market phase? And this really helps you, it gives you guidance and it gives you the overall guidance that I think many of us have been seeking for a long time. So coming back to the question, when should you guys get into the market? Should you back up the truck here? Well, okay, well, obviously it's a better time to buy it now than when Bitcoin was at 30,000. We're still long here. Although we're seeing weakness here, but it is quite volatile. And so far, the, the comments haven't crossed yet. And there, there were two scenarios that uh, we, I was looking at. And let's go over here and I want to actually show you the chart. This is the one I drew on. And I, you might remember this one here. I was actually considering the scenario. There's actually two scenarios I was considering. I did a market update a little while ago and I was referring to these lines. My lines are lines, right? They're in itself, lines are meaningless. They're just like mental constructs of where price action will potentially go based on observed behavior. And not to make this in any ways academic, but we want to know what is the probability, right? Uh, price going higher and lower here. Well, the probability, there's two scenarios. One is that it kind of like does this. And I think it has a good chance actually it comes down to 25,000, something like that, plus minus, and then busts higher again. I think it wants to do a retest of this area here. All this here, this, this price cluster. So between 24 and maybe 21,000 or even 20,000 is a good probability we come back to that. I mean, it's, it's, that's just what it is, but we never know. So one way to doing it is start scaling in now slowly, right? Either 
I'm just start scaling, scaling. And if you, if it drops slower, scale a bit more. And the same thing if on the way up. There is no perfect technique to, to scale into the market. This is pretty volatile right now. And it's, it's kind of aimless, right? So do we know for sure it's going to go here? No. Do we know for sure it's going to bust higher from here? No, we don't. Right? It might just stay in this, this range here for another month or two. Very much possible. And so patience, right? <laughs> patience is an aspect of being a trader. The thing is in markets, often things happen, especially in crypto here. Nothing happens for a long time and then it all happens at the same time, right? It happens very quickly. The big moves always happen very quickly. Haven't you noticed that? Look at this. Nothing happens, nothing happens, boom. Nothing happens, nothing happens, boom. <laughs> and then, yeah, oh my God, this is chop zone from hell, boom, right? And the same here, boom. So are you going to time this? No, you're not. You know, so you can maybe appreciate how difficult it was to actually come up with a trend trading signal that was halfway reliable. Mostly you see like three, four indicators stack on top of each other, like donchance and moving averages and standard deviation and all kinds of things. And many of them do a lot worse than our trepid comments. They, they keep us really on the right side of the tape most of the time. So to answer your question, I would probably start scaling in here. This is not a bad spot. Like just, just kind of buy a little bit, see if it holds. And if it holds, then maybe buy a little bit more, right? If then a single crosses and we're actually supposed to be short, I don't think we're going to go really that far. I mean, I don't think we're going to go back all the way down to here, 21,000 or even, or even 15,000, 16,000, anything like that. I think the probabilities of that happening, current economic climate, what's going on with the economy, with what's going on with the banks and everything, and with the dollar especially, right? I mean, you, you've heard about de-dollarization that's being debated everywhere now. And... The odds of that happening, I think probability for Bitcoin to be higher by the end of this year is significantly better than probability of Bitcoin being down here again, right? You would agree. And that's the way you got to think. And everything else in between is just noise, right? But we're going to be one year from now, you know, because when you buy, if you buy Bitcoin today or, or, or next week or whatever you do, right? if you follow the signal along here, then you just basically are betting on the future, right? So best situation here is get into the market you know, with a little bit of coin, just, I don't know, deploy like 10% of your wad and then kind of watch it for a while. Maybe let's see if it makes you a little bit of money and then scale in again and scale in again. You know, easy way into it. Buy a little bit you're comfortable with. Don't even look at it. Just follow along here. And then it's a long-term system. Never forget that. Your trading horizon or investment horizon in that regard needs to really adjust to that. We want to buy around here or maybe around here and we want to see it go here, right? Again, 50,000, 60,000, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We want to do this long ride up, right? Like we did. And I mean, this chart really reflects how cool Gravitas is. I mean, look, look at these gyrations, right? And see what a cool cucumber it's been. I mean, it just kind of like just brought it all the way out. I mean, it's just beautiful. It just really smooths it out very nicely. And now it doesn't get you in here and then gets you out down here. But it, hey, it makes you enough money where, where a lot of people lose. A lot of people lose in this kind of price section here. They get chopped to pieces. And that's something people never think about. They think about that one big winner, but they don't think about all the money they're losing in between. And that's something that's really, really important that you shouldn't forget as a trader, how these interim periods really drain your account. It's like a bloodletting. It's like the leeches, you know, they put on you. <laughs> all right. That really tells you everything you should know at this point. I mean, I don't think there's really much else to be said. Follow the signal here. You should get one every day. It's driven directly by this. This feeds the signal right here. And as soon as it changes, uh, if, the, if these things cross over, if we see more downside, it'll tell you, it'll go short. It'll get you into the big swings at the right time. And the big winners are going to make up for everything else. And that's really the, the whole idea here. Okay, if you have further questions, ask away. And again, if you sign up, congratulations. Happy you joined. Watch the signal. Don't overthink it. Just kind of like put a few funds in there and just kind of ride it. Ride it for months and months and years and years. Especially your lifers, you guys who sign up for a lifetime. Awesome. Just kind of like play the play for you. Just give it, you know, give it six months, give it a year, give it two years. And you'll see the rewards will come because, I mean, that's that's what has happened in the past. And the odds of it happening again are quite high, especially if we, once we get strong training action again. All right, that's all I got. Talk to you soon, guys. Cheers.